Hello, I'm Rebecca Flatty, and this week I'm going to show you how to make this really intricate looking geometric pattern in Procreate. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. You don't need to be able to draw to make this pattern. We're going to be doing the whole thing with simple filled shapes and a bit of clever maths plus some blend modes. This is a beginner to intermediate level tutorial. If you know how repeat patterns work and are familiar with things like snapping and transforming in Procreate, then this should be an easy tutorial to follow along with. But if you're new to patterns or new to Procreate, you might find it a bit trickier, but you can follow along step by step and you will end up with an identical pattern to me at the end. I'll put all the measurements and dimensions in the description. And if you want to use the exact same color palette as I do, you can get that in the Pattern Makers Toolkit over on my website. Let's get started. As always, with most of my patterns, I'm going to start with a 3600 pixel square canvas, that's 12 inches. I'm going to use 300 dpi, I already have a preset for mine saved here, if you don't have that, you can just create a new canvas at 3600 pixel square at 300 dpi. I'm going to cancel that and use the preset that I have here. So I'm going to grab my blue diamond palette, and the first thing I'm going to do is fill this new layer with the darkest of these colours. So I've got one, two, three, four, five colours here going from dark to light in a nice kind of ombre graduation. If you want this palette, you can get this on my website. Otherwise, you just need five colours going from dark to light. So on this first layer here, I'm going to tap to transform and I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees and then tap on fit to canvas. I've got bicubic as my interpolation method there. I'm going to tap up here when I'm done, then tap to transform again so we now have the box around it going this way. I'm going to alpha lock this layer and then I'm going to duplicate it four times. So we've got five diamonds all together. I'm going to hide these ones and just work on one at a time. So this first one I'm going to tap to transform, tap on any of these blue nodes, uncheck the ratio up here and I'm going to change the width on this one to 2700 height will leave at 3600 pixels. Then I'm going to turn on the next layer and fill this with the next lightest colour. Tap to transform, tap on the blue node, uncheck the ratio and this one we're going to make 2100 pixels for the width and the height will leave at 3600. Then we can turn on the next one, grab our next lightest colour and fill this layer with it. Tap to transform again, tap on the node, and check the ratio, and this one we're going to make 1500 pixels wide. Turn on your next diamond, fill this with your second lightest colour, tap to transform, tap on the node, and check the ratio, and this one is going to be 900 pixels wide. Then last one, fill this with your lightest colour, Tap to transform, uncheck the ratio, and this one is going to be 300 pixels wide, and again 3600 pixels for the height. So now what we want to do is centre these all on the canvas. So I'll turn off these ones and we'll do start with this bottom one and centre this one on the canvas first. So you need to make sure you have magnetics and snapping both turned on and distance and velocity all the way up to the top. And then bring this into the middle of the canvas and you'll see orange lines top and bottom and then intersecting in the middle there. Then we can turn the next layer on and centre this one on the canvas. The reason I'm going to do these one at a time is so that it is only centering on the canvas and you will definitely see those orange lines. If I have this one turned on at the same time you will get blue lines there because it's centering to the canvas plus what's on that bottom layer. So if we just do this one at a time, we will just get the orange lines and we'll know it's centering to the canvas. So let's do this one now. Center that one on the canvas. And this one. And then this thin one last of all. go and then we can turn all of those layers on and I'm going to swipe right on all of these and we can group them. So now we've got this fanned out diamond in those nice colours graduating from dark to light in the middle and you can see down at the bottom there they're all nicely lined up. So what I want to do now is duplicate this group. 
I'm going to hide the one at the bottom and with this group we're going to reverse the colours so that the lighter colour is on the outside. So the biggest diamond, fill it with your lightest colour and then just work your way through these colours reversing the flow of the colour. So you should have two groups now, one underneath going from dark on the outside to light in the middle and then one on the top going from light on the outside to dark in the middle. If you're short on layers now you could flatten both of these groups. If you've got enough spare layers you can duplicate a copy of these and then flatten them. So I'm going to do that, we'll flatten this one and I'm going to duplicate this one and flatten that one. Then I could turn off the layered ones and bring those up to the top. Then we're going to come up here to our canvas actions and tap on canvas and tap on crop and resize. Then we're going to go to settings and we want the width for this to be 2700 pixels which is the same width as this diamond here. So we'll type in 2700. The height we'll leave at 3600 pixels and we want to turn snapping on. Tap done down here and then drag your canvas and centre it on the diamond so you should have an orange line crossing in the middle there. Then you can tap done and as you can see now this diamond goes all the way to the edges top and bottom of the canvas. So on the bottom layer I have the one with dark on the outside and then I've got my lighter one on top. I'm going to duplicate this top lighter one, tap to transform and I'm going to drag it up and into the corner here and you'll see that orange line there where it's snapping into the corner. Then I'm going to duplicate it again and put it into this corner and then do the same in these ones as well. The last time I'm not going to duplicate it, I'm just going to bring this diamond down into the corner there. And then those top four we can pinch together. So we've got this one with dark on the outside on the bottom and then this around the outside. So this is our first option for a pattern tile. We can swipe down and copy all, swipe down and tap paste. And let's hide these two and let's see how this looks in repeat. So I'm going to tap to transform and you can duplicate and snap this into each of these corners making sure we've got the orange lines there. So that's how this first tile will look in repeat. That would look quite cool as a wallpaper I think. Let's pinch those two together and hide that one. So that's option one. Turn these two back on again. So to get the multifaceted look that we had in the main pattern that we're aiming to make, the way we're going to do that is swipe down again with three fingers and copy all. Then above these two layers here, tap paste. So now we've got a flattened copy here and we're going to swipe and duplicate that and we're going to snap half of it over to this side here and then the bottom copy we can select and drag over to this side. Pinch those two together so we've got this on the bottom and then this on the top. We're going to tap on this layer and tap on invert the colours and then we're going to change the blend mode to overlay and then like magic we get this cool multifaceted effect. To see how this is going to look and repeat we can swipe down with three fingers, tap copy all, come up to the top here and tap paste. So this is what you would export as your pattern tile, just this. To check that this is working in repeat I'm going to turn off all of the other layers and make the background colour black and then if there's any mistakes on the edges this will show through. So I'm going to tap to transform snap this node to the middle of the document you'll have 1350 pixels for your width and 1800 pixels for the height. Then we can duplicate and drag this over to this edge there and we can just zoom in here to the middle and make sure that that's lining up properly there on the edge and that there's no gaps showing through there. So that's looking okay. You can I pinch those two together, duplicate, tap to transform and drag those down there. And then again here make sure these are lining up properly and that you've got no gaps along that edge there. And that's all looking okay. So that is this pattern in repeat. I'm just going to make it smaller one more time so we'll repeat that again. 
just the same steps duplicating and putting it into each corner of the canvas and let's turn it around this way so it fills the screen nicely. So that is how our pattern is looking in repeat and I really love that this was just made by filling shapes and just using some simple blend modes. I hope you've had fun watching me make this pattern and that it's sparked off lots of other ideas for you to have a go at. Don't forget to share your patterns and tag me at Becky Flaherty if you have a go at making this. If you want to see more from me don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube for pattern tutorials like this every week and if you want more in-depth courses from me on things like surface pattern design workflow you can find those over on Skillshare. If you're not already on Skillshare and sign up using the link below you'll get 30 days for free. Have fun, stay creative and I will see you next time.